Hey there everyone, welcome back to another brand new Adobe Illustrator tutorial video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a flat coffee mug design in Adobe Illustrator. So let's get started. For this illustration, I will be using a 1920 and 1080 pixel canvas, but you can go with whatever the size you want. Now rename the default layer to outline and make another layer called color. Bring the outline layer in the top. Now select stroke color with 8 point thickness with round caps and corner and make sure you selected the outline layer because we are gonna create the outline first. For the color I am using my own colors if you want to use exactly what I am using I will leave a link in the description where you can download the color plate. Now select the rectangle tool and make a rectangle like this. From the transform tool Uncheck the scale stroke and effects. If you don't find the transform tool here, just go to windows and here is the transform tool. The shortcut is shift plus F8. Now select this two anchor point using direct selection tool and make them round. Now select the ellipse tool and make a ellipse like this. I think I need to make it a little bit bigger. Now select all the shape, go to shape builder tool and drag inside the circle. And now you can see the circle and the body is now two different shape. Now hold alt from your keyboard and drag to duplicate the circle. Now select all the shape, go to shape builder tool again and click in this two part. Delete this shape because we don't need it. Now you can see all the shapes are separated. Perfect. Now let's create the handle. So for the handle, create a circle like this. We need one more circle. So what we can do now, just copy and paste it for one more time. So here is two different circle now. Select one and make it bigger. Perfect. Now select both circle and reduce the width. Then rotate it like 45 degree. Now place the handle perfectly. Now we have to remove the extra part of the handle. So for that, select both circle with the body shape. Then go to shape builder tool and click here. So this part is now separated. So keep this part and remove all the unnecessary parts. I think I need to make the mock a little bit smaller. Perfect, so the outline of this design is done. Now we have to add color. Select all the shape, hold alt from your keyboard and drag this little square icon into the color layer. Now lock the outline layer. So we duplicated all the stroke and transferred them into the color layer. The reason is we can now convert one stroke into fill color. Now select the body part and give it a color. Use the same color for the handle. Perfect, now we have to add light and shadow to make it realistic. For give the shadow, we have to duplicate the shape. So go to edit, copy and paste it in front. Now we have two different shape here. I'm giving this color as a shadow. Now hold alt from your keyboard and drag it to make another copy. So as you can see, we made one shape into three different shape. The original one will be there forever. The second one is for the shadow. And using the third one, we'll remove the extra part of the shadow using the shape builder tool. So select both shape, go to shape builder tool and drag to remove all the unnecessary parts. So here we got our shadow. This is how the shape builder tool works. This tool is very important for designing. So if you don't know how this tool works, I made a separate detailed video about the shape builder tool. I will leave the link in the description. So don't forget to check it. Alright, so let's add some light using the same method. Select the shape, go to edit, copy and then paste it in front. I'm using this light yellow color for the light. Now press alt from your keyboard and drag to make another copy. Now select both shape, go to the shape builder tool and remove all the unnecessary part by holding alt from your keyboard. Let's create few more lights and shadow using the ellipse tool. Now 
let's add few more shadow here I think I need to change the first shadow color perfect let's make another shadow using the ellipse tool all right I'm giving this color for this shadow perfect now select this shape and give it a color now we have to add some light and shadow in this shape to do that select this shape go to edit copy paste it in front I'm using this color as a light now drag and make a duplicate by holding alt from your keyboard now select both and remove the extra part using the shape builder tool perfect let's add a color in this shape now press ctrl c and ctrl f from your keyboard to make a duplicate of the shape now make another copy by holding alt from your keyboard and place it like this now select both shape and delete this part using the shape builder tool here we got our shadow now we have to give it a dark color now using the same method we have to create another shadow like this one ctrl c ctrl f make another copy by holding alt select both delete the extra part using the shape builder tool perfect let's give it a color i think i need to change the coffee color it looks too bright perfect okay now let's add some light and shadow for the handle duplicate this shadow by holding alt from your keyboard oops it goes down to the handle so we have to bring it front for that go to arrange and bring it front now select the shadow and handle and then delete the extra part using the shape builder tool okay let's create some details on the coffee select the ellipse tool and make few circle like this give it a bright color now duplicate the circle by holding alt from your keyboard make it a little bit smaller and spread it randomly perfect okay now let's create a circle like this and i will set it as a custom brush change the color to black now open the brush panel if you don't find the brush panel here just go to windows and here is the brush panel the shortcut is f5 now drag and keep the brush to the brush panel here select art brush and then ok we don't have to change the direction both side of the brush is same now change it to thin and ok now activate the brush tool or press b from your keyboard to activate it then select the brush we just created let's up the fill color only stroke and here our brush is ready you can change the thickness of your brush from here or press third bracket from your keyboard to change it now let's add more light and shadow on the handle select pen tool or press p from your keyboard to activate it and then create a line like this great now select the brush we just created increase the thickness of the stroke and then give it a light color great and using the same method create a shadow here perfect okay let's create some smoke using the brush we just created now select the brush tool and change the stroke color to whatever the color you want for the smoke and create some smoke like this using the brush tool i think i need to increase the stroke size perfect you don't have to exactly copy mine just try whatever looks good for you try to place it perfectly I think I need to change this one okay great sorry I think I need to add few more circle here 
just duplicate it and add few more circles okay now it looks good our main mock design is done now we have to add a background on it for that select the color layer and make a background using the rectangle tool now change the background color to whatever the color you want and I am giving this color as a background now select the background right click arrange and then send it to back perfect now place the design to the middle of the canvas but before that we have to unlock the outline layer now select everything just press shift from your keyboard and click on the background to unselect it so we selected everything without the background now right click on it and then group ctrl g is the shortcut of group as you can see our whole mock is a group now now rotate the mock a little bit like this now give it a shadow using the ellipse tool change the shadow color to whatever looks like a shadow perfect now select the mock right click arrange and bring it to front i think i need to make it a bit bigger perfect now place it in the middle of the canvas perfect our main design is done here you can stop watching this video but i will add some decorative element to make it outstanding so if you want to continue with me then keep watching select the brush tool this time we have to select this brush perfect select the color layer and keep the stroke size 2 pt now create few lines like this using the brush tool maybe we have to change the stroke size to 1 pt while selecting multiple shape press shift from your keyboard now select the ellipse tool and make few more circle like this make the stroke size 1 2 3 4 pt now duplicate it by holding alt from your keyboard and convert the stroke color into fill color and make it a bit smaller now duplicate these two circles by press alt from your keyboard and spread them around the artwork And here our design is done. We perfectly created a beautiful flat coffee mug design in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. I really appreciate you guys for all of your love and support. It really really means a lot to me. Thank you so much. See you in the next one.